So this morning, my family in Christ, love and peace to you all from God, the Father Almighty, knowing that he is the reader of our heart and the searcher of our mind. This morning, you know, my heart is indicted in such a good matter and the matter is about kindness and love and unity and hope for the new year 2021. And in my toiling and walking in this journey, I realized to myself the things that are missing in our lives is the word is, is love. And love is a two-way street. And love also is an active word. When we say love, we must mean love. Love is a doing. You have to do. You have to show. You have to feel. It. it you know, I always says you could claim to love me, but if I don't feel the love coming back from you, it doesn't mean anything to me because I have to feel you. When you hold me, I must feel you something from you. You know, the spirit in you and the spirit in me must meet in the middle and it must be able to come as one. You know, when Christ was leaving, he said, love you one another as I have loved you. And I have proven that love is strong. You know, before my father passed, my father said to me, I was a young girl, maybe about 12, yes. And he said to me, Marva, love is stronger than death. And at that age, I didn't understand what that mean. But as I grew and he gave, he take the chain off his neck and he gave it to me. And he said, when you find your husband, <laughs> the man that love you and you love him, give put this around his neck. But I want to say that love is so powerful that it even heals the mind and the body. When you are sick, you know, I, you know, if I'm a young man, I always says that uh, um, the Bishop Ashby and his name is Kenneth. And, you know, some of my spiritual children would know. I said, if I lie down on a bed and it's song that I am passing, I said, call him. He makes me laugh and happy. If I'm not laughing, you know, I'm gone. You know, David, when David was there and they said, David died, they, you know, they said, and bring all these young women to make sure. I am saying that we need to get it together, brethren, and understand what love is. Love cherish, love, love, love have a, like a burning fire within you. It's like when a woman see a man that she loves for him. Oh God, heart jumping, all kind of thing taking place. And you know, that we excited. Heart, you know, they talk about the heart beats. Think about what happens when we're in love with God, the Son of God. When you're truly in love with the Son of God, and we want to, oh, you know, because when, you, when, when, when you're in love with this man, you want to do everything to please him. Everything has to be right. You want to make sure you do this. You know, and you, you, you're fixing yourself because you, you, you want that attraction and that, you know, that feeling to be strong. Today, I am saying, let us love one another because love is from God. And everyone who loves has been born of God and know God. The love who love who love that does not show that that unity is not truly love. Love unites us in one accord. Love build courage. Love exercise our faith. The Bible said that God sent his only beloved son to die for us that we should have life and have it more abundantly. There is no man that walked the face of the earth that I know personally that sacrificing their, their, their son or their daughter for the world. None. There is no nobody that I know that even willing to sacrifice themselves for love. And when I say that, I'm not just speaking about, I love you and I will come and help you clean. Or I love you, I'll give you $50. Or I love you, I would buy a, a gift for you. I'm not speaking about that. That's too cheap. You know, when we're talking about love is, is rich in spirit, rich in body. 
I am talking about the love that is unspeakable, love that man cannot buy. You know, I always say, I am not for sale. You cannot buy me. I don't care what you give me, you cannot buy me. But, and that is because I know the value that, that God teaches us what love really is. Abraham loved God. When God spoke to Abraham and tell Abraham about taking his son to be sacrificed, of course Abraham had a problem, but he loved God and he trusted God. And God proved to Abraham the love that God had for Abraham in return. Love is a two-way street. Love is an action word. I don't have to, I do not have to speak to you. To my to person pieces that I love every day. No. Sometimes I don't want you have to talk to you for months. But if we truly love and, and something go wrong, spirit travels. And if this and if the spirit is real and true and honest, and there is nothing if filthy in there, no ingredients to destroy it or, 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 or interrupt that love, that chemistry. I would know, I would feel you. It's like twins, it, 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 you know, a woman making twins and the twins, you know, after the twins born, when something wrong with one twin, another twin, no. That is what I'm talking about, love, the love I'm talking about, the love that we are not prepared to give. I love your butt. I like what you say, I like what you do. I love your butt. We got to think about this word, I love your butt. There is no butt. If I love you, I love you. It does not mean that I am not going to, I, 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 I am not going to say what I mean. I'm not going to, I, 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 I'm not going to be hypocrite. I'm going to say, say it as it is. You may not like it. Of course not. But, you know, love cost. Love have a cost. It cost. And man, none of us have no money that we could pay for that. Love grows. Love unites us. Love have integrity in it. It also have the so-called thing that we call love that is hypocrite. And when hypocrisy, hypocrisy comes around in love, love become tainted and it's no more love anymore. Family in Christ. 2021, discard of that. If you find that there is not the, the, the honesty of the love and the integrity of it, get rid of it. If you have a friend, and I'm speaking this boldly without no excuse. Somebody that said that there's your friend or, or family and, and, and they, they, they're not truly loving you, get rid of them. Because it's a hindrance in your way. That is what Christ left when he was going. He said, love ye one another as I have loved you. He said, if I don't go, the comforter will not come. Who will teach us all things. Man want to spend a road, ride on. But they have no love. What sense does it make? What sense does it make? You know, if you love me, he said, if you love me, you will keep my commandment. And I am saying that too. If you love me, you would seek my interests. If you love me, you would like to see me grow. It's not, this is mine and that is mine and this is mine and that is mine. And I will know. Look, we all sharing one unity, which is God. God is love. So my beloved brethren, Today, as we are about to step in the year 2020, make some serious commitment. One, I ain't telling no lie no more. Say it as it is, whether you like it or don't like it, this is the way the master went. He speak the truth, and you know what? They said, crucify him. Make up your mind to be crucified for the word love. Make, let us make up our mind. And we're talking love and not hate. 
Because people get mixed up with love and hate, you know. In the same love we love you, you turn into a beast and you become something that we cannot recognize. I am not, that is not love. Love have compassion. Love have unity. Because there is positive love and there is a negative love. See a man beating up his wife and they do not, and say, I love you. And it's because I love you are doing that. That devil is a liar. If you love me, you wouldn't like to see tears coming from my eye. And if you love me, just imagine, think about this. You love somebody and you see them on a bed and how sad it does be. Especially when you, you have this loved one and you, you know, they go to the doctor or somewhere and the doctor tell them, well, you know, you have this illness and, and you realize that this illness and have no cure. Just think about how, especially if it happened to your child. In all of us, I want to tell you, we just give up. You know something happened to us, man. Yeah, we cry. But when you hear it happen to the, the, to, to the seed that come from you, it's a different ball game. I try to match that up with G, the son of God. You know, that he said, you know, when Jesus went up on the cross, he said, Father, if it is possible, Lord, if it is possible, let this cup pass. He said, but I know, Lord, that thy will must be done. That's love. Take one for, the, you know, nobody wants to take one for the crew. Nobody. Take one. We have, because we have to remember Christ took one for us. And more than one. We, we have to think about the mystery. Just imagine, brethren, just imagine. He came down and walked on earth to understand man walk. So that he could go back to his father and play our cause. What a privilege. What a privilege. But we don't see it as a privilege because that is not what I want. I want this and I want that. Sometimes what we want, we cannot receive. Because it's not for you or not for me. And we have to accept it and wait on our turn. We have to wait on our turn. You know, I grew up here and my mother says, you know, today for you and tomorrow for me. Everything doesn't happen at the same time. The Lord God revealed unto us the way the master went. God sent his one and only son into the world that we might, might live through him. Hear the word you know, that we might live through him. Brethren, where do you go from here when the Lord giving everything to you, but yet mankind is not satisfied? We want and we want and we want and we want and we want. And the point about it, my beloved brethren, we get it and we cannot carry it. Because some love, some people love and demand so much of us. When someone loves you, you don't have to demand nothing. It comes naturally. We don't have to force it onto nobody. If you don't love me, you can't love nobody else. I kill you. What? Love is free. It's like serving God. It's free. Religion is free. Wherever you choose to serve your God, it's up to you. Because no one has to answer to God but you. Remember, I always have to bring this. She went and said, oh, Lord, Father, you know, the woman give me. And the woman, this, you, you, you know, I sure the Lord wanted us to slap down him. What are you telling me? Take responsibility for your own actions. And love completely without a doubt. When, when we learn, and it's an individual thing, you know, brethren. The love has nothing to do with nobody else. Love is an individual request all the way from Almighty God. You know, sometimes we don't really understand. It's, you know, look at, for instance, a woman about to have a child. And she's trying to have a child, trying to have a child, and she cannot, it's not connecting. She decided now that um, she will go to the, fertility bank or 
she would meet an individual who, she's, who she, she knows very well. I would say, well, you know, I, I, you know, a good friend of mine, this is what I would like to do, blah, 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 blah. And say, well, all right, you know what? I'm going to pass on some stuff for you. We're living in a time like, no, let us not be hypocrite and deceit. Things has changed. So they go down to the place. They get the act together. And the doctors do their job. Brethren, that is, that is a child that is requested. That is love. God have his way. It's a reason why, the, why, why some of us are educated in different forms. It all comes down to love. Some comes down to money. When the Bible tell, says about, when we read about the, the you know, uh, money is the root of all evil. I fix that in another way. Without money, I can't, in this world, we can't pay rent. We can't do this. We can't do that. So I don't believe that money is the root of all evil. I believe in how you handle the money. If you squander what God gives you and you didn't put it to use and you use the money as a weapon to, 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 um, Yes, I want a word for that. I'm trying to, a word for that. To, to, um, to make people do what you want them to do because you know that they don't have. So you force them into, because you could give them a dollar. Away with you. God, love is true. It's unpredictable. When we, when we least expect it, brethren, the Lord open way where, where there seem to be none. But we also have to remember the love, the love. God had to find that love in your heart. It's a reason why the Lord God put all these layers and cover the heart, you know, so that we cannot see the heart of mankind. You know, when we cannot see the heart of mankind, this is what happened. You know, this is it. So we cannot manipulate the things that, you know, people with our money. And this is what we do all the most people does most of the time. I went through that in my growing up child because people see certain things going on and they realize that, you, you, you know, you don't have it. You, you know, they put it in front of you because they know you have a need. Hello, somebody. I will take all the money, but you know what? You're still not going to manipulate me because God is love. Because I, we have need to do it. We have to be very careful in the things that we do. Because this word love, there is no fear in love. When you love, you don't have to fear. Love comes with an understanding if we truly bound for glory and if we truly bound for hope and if we truly bound for unity and if we truly, truly is a child of the living God. Hear what the word of God says in Jeremiah. He says, I've known you since you're in your mother's womb. I have anointed you and ordained you. So then brethren, then if that is so, love have no fear. Instead, love is perfect. Love drive out fear. Because fear involves punishment. That's what fear involves, you know, punishment. Because when we fear, we fear something because we feel that they're going to have a punishment in it. Is when you do something that you know you, you have no right to do. You're free. I don't know what comes, but what is going to come back to you. But love, love has no fear. So those that love has that that, that those that who fear has not reached perfection in love. Who's still in that? In that stage, 
that is not fully mature, like a baby, you know, a premature baby. Your love is premature. It has not reached the stage of development yet. Be courageous. Be courageous. And place your eyes upon the maker. And then, and ask God to come into your heart. You know, that some is my spiritual mother, you know, the late teacher, teacher Olga, used to sing, come into my heart. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in to stay. Come in to stay. Come into my heart. Lord Jesus, we can have a baptism without that and without she and sing that when she's coming to put ban on you. Come into my heart. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today. Come in to stay. Come into my heart. Lord Jesus, we have to ask, we have to ask and invoke the spirit of God to come into your heart. And everything else, God is going to make perfect. This is what I would like my brethren, those that follow me every day on this podcast. Remember that if you want God in your heart and you want, you want love, you must have God. And remember, God does not have any bacteria. So his love is, is pure and true. You know, God doesn't have none of those things. The Bible said he's a spirit and those that serve him must serve him in spirit and in truth. We want to make up God into something. Remember what he said, you know, he's not an idol. That is not what God is. And love is strong. You know, sometimes we want to meet someone, we want, oh, we want to feel their muscle and we want to, no. The strength gets into the heart. That even though the wind blow, you won't move. And even though the earth shake, you won't move because your love is true and strong. He said he's strong to deliver. Love have no ill will. He said, love in one another, you know. It is, love is perfect. You know, love is kind. He said, to know me is to love me. The Bible says, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Love have no enemy. <laughs> With love, we doesn't always get what we want because love is not in your time. You know, everything does have to go in a certain way. Love is discipline. You hear that, brethren? Love is discipline. Look at children who are, 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 um, are disciplined and, and, and some who are doing whatever they want. It is sad to say that because that is the truth. Look at the parents that discipline their children and they have order. They still have love and respect. The others, not to say they have, you know, they have their love, yes. But the love does not have the ingredient to bring it strong. The way God wanted. So the Lord now, it's all left to that individual now. And most times we understand what love is when we're going through something that we have tried every element of, of the world and get no help. Then we come now like, um, uh, uh, you know, we come like... Um, Um, you know, like, a, like I wouldn't say a lamb to be slaughtered, but the dog without the bone. You have the bone in your mouth, the love there. But we greedy so much, we watching over there. 
and we see in one, but we are realizing this is our self we see in. So we drop what we have and we're running for something you're not sure of. Hello, brethren, be careful about love. You know, the word said, God first love us. If anyone say, I love God, yet hate his brother, he's a liar. When you are sent by God to do a job, and I, 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 I teach a mark letting my, my fellow brethren stop saying God say when God did not say anything to you. Because you are, you are laying coals upon your head. You're causing conflict in your way. We're hindering the people that is coming be behind us. Say, this is what I would like to do. I don't want to. Do. But anytime, any, anyone who knows me, who truly knows me, from the time someone said, God says, I, have, I don't have anything to say. My lips just suddenly stick together. Because I have no power over God. God has power over me. So if the Lord speak to you, who am I to tell you no? Who am I to come to, you know, to, to, to try to dissect God for you? The Bible tells us he's a supernatural spirit. Look at those of us who, a little story, I want to, we sleep in every night and we can't get, you say, oh, I don't remember my visions. I don't remember my dreams. I don't remember. Hello, somebody. What God wants you to remember, you just remember, you know, check yourself. You can't remember nothing else. But all in a sudden you had this vision and you remember every details about it. And that is because that is the message. Is a message there. So you cannot say that you don't know. It happens to me all the time. I can't remember. I know. I know I dreamt something. I know. I reached this stage now. Don't worry about that. What is going to happen when the Lord ready for you? When that message supposed to be carried out, you will remember every details of it because it came straight from the Messiah. You know, next thing is that none of us have gone to heaven and come back to see what it's like. None of us is going to hell and come back and say what it's like. But our, in my imagination, this place where Jesus said he go to prepare for us, that where he is, we may be also. In heaven, everyone supposed to be, I expect them to be a, to be happy and laughing. Each handiwork belongs to God up there in that place. There is no preparation when we get there. We have to be already prepared to enter. What a difference it will be in heaven if everyone was happy laughing, yet each person had the same luggage. <laughs> Stepping in our hands with, with this, you know, the luggage you have, you're stepping in with glory. You're stepping in with unity. And you're stepping in with courage. <laughs> you know, stepping in with courage because all the luggage that we have, it's already in us. So there is no baggage that you're taking. All that God did, all that love requires is already in us. So everyone there has the same luggage. None weighing more than the other. 16 ounces, 16 ounces. Exact. Not a not, not, not an ounce more. Or less.
Each person have to use the same crossroad. Each person in heaven have to acknowledge one God, not, not like what we're doing here. Each person will be dressed alike. It means we, it, we have no reason for clothes. We all be so holy, we wouldn't be seeing anything. The, 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 the mortal body, we, 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 it wouldn't be seen the same way because this body that we have here, this cloak is for earth. I don't know what the cloak is when we get there. Nobody never come back and says what color it was. It's like going to church and we ask you the question, what are we wearing today? What are we going to put on, brethren? When we get there, we don't have to ask what we're wearing because we already have it and it's called L-O-V-E, love. To those of us who not, because there's a lot of people who don't, have, who, do, who don't understand what love is. There is a lot of people don't know that they loved because the reason why they don't know they love because they're listening to too much things to mess up their mind. Love does not mean that, it, it, that if some, you, you, you do something and someone correct you, that does not mean they doesn't love you. That is all of you. You know, I hear it. Oh, you get above. So because you get above, you in love. Oh God, it's because you was doing something left. So someone have to pull you up as the, you're going to, that you, you will not able to enter. You will continue being in this, this, in this, this disarray behavior and attitude. But when someone corrects you, it's a new birth. It's the dawn of a new day. You know, when someone, I always say this, when I am, you know, I always ask the question, how am I song? How am I did? How am I doing? Brethren, if I always say it to me, don't, if you can't tell me the truth, please don't tell me anything. I get a, I, I, I don't want to say this like, but I get a disturbed feeling when I recognize to myself that you wasn't telling me the truth and you're looking at me going down the road on, you know, to lose my way to heaven. All because you say you don't want to upset me, you better upset me. Because you're upsetting me is like I winning the lottery or getting everything because you're saving me. It's save, you're saving me. But the story behind that is make sure you're right. Don't come true unless you ain't sure about what you're saying to me. I am willing to make changes in all things that I do. But you have to show me a better way. And sometimes the way, the road you take, my shoes, not able to take the road because the road that you might be traveling on to get to that love connection, it might have some spikes in the ground that my, the bottom of my shoe cannot, cannot stand the spike because the soul is not strong enough like the one that you are wearing. I might be the one that soar like an eagle. It's not all of us that has walk. It's not all of us that walking on the earth, you know, some traveling under the ground, some soaring in the air. It have birds, but they don't even, some of the birds that they fly, but they're not able to soar. They cannot go up to that height. Some of us are allergic <laughs> to certain things. Some of us have problem with height. Fear takers, we get depressed. But there still is a way for you to get their true love. We says a word we repeat all the time. With God, all things are possible to those that, here, this is the key, to those that diligently seek him. We just forget that part. With God, all things are possible and we stop here. But there is something that, that goes with it. 
and it says is to those that diligently seek God. So my beloved brethren, let us learn how to laugh and truly laugh with your whole heart. Remember the world is not going anywhere, it's you and I. Remember that everything that you seek to build, you have to leave it here. Remember to make time to spend with God. Remember God helps make provisions for our keeping day after day and night after night. As I said to you, brethren, I could not have done this. I could not have been sitting where I am sitting today. But I know with all, without a doubt, and with my whole heart, body, soul, and spirit, it's only through the love of God. So I have no fear of what about to come. Because if he take me this far, he will take us all to the another step. But our love must be true. Hypocrisy must not be part of it. God is not silent. God becomes silent when we are not listening. God, God you know, the Lord longed to speak to us as friend to friend. We often do not hear his voice because we are too busy doing other things. Some gossiping, some, you know, doing things that, yes, we, it, it is for able, but sometimes we have to spend time with God so he can speak to us, so we can understand his language. Sometimes God is speaking to us, but we don't want to listen because we have other The Spirit personally, the Spirit of God personally deals with us. In different ways. In different time. Why do you think that we have visions? Why do you think that we, we, we have a dream sometimes? Because God is trying to speak to us during times and we're not listening. We're too busy listening to others. So sometimes we have to get in such deep sleep so that the Lord, you know, get to speak to you. Because you're not listening. The Bible said that when he walked through the garden, he, uh, um, Adam, you know, he speaks to him. He had to put him to sleep to speak. He speak and hear. He listened. He was listening. The Lord wants us to understand his, our walk with him. Today, my beloved brethren, pick up your weapon. I want us all to look at our accomplishment for the year 2020. And you will realize that you have accomplished a lot. Because God has provided for us along the way. But look back to what you have given to God. Remember, he said he wants our body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him. And you alone will know whether you have accomplished the things that God wants you to accomplish by, by giving God your all so you can direct your path. Keep a record. Don't ever give up. Keep a report of the year 2020. And remember, 2021 will be a little difficult too. Because we are still going through the pandemic. And sometimes people are not listening. When I look at people are not listening even to save their own life. Think about yours. We're doing what we want, when we want, and as we like. 
But when something happened, especially how I'm hearing how this pain is rocking man body, they probably know, God, Lord, help me, Jesus. But that, at that time, man bringing down God. Let us beg God for discipline in the body, in the mind, in the soul, and in the spirit. Let us pick up the sword of salvation and let us walk holy to the throne of God so that we can find peace, we can find love, we can find unity, we can find strength, and we can grow in grace. And through it all, we will be able to accomplish the thing that God left with us, Christ left with us that said, love you one another as I have loved you. My words to you, family in Christ, let us be strong in his might. As I'm about to lift the word of God before you in prayer, I want to remind you or encourage you to confess your sins before God. Remember, we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is no perfect human being. Hence the reason why we must, before we go to God, we must confess. And remember that we are not fooling God. He's the reader of your heart and he's the searcher of your mind. So take a minute. Because we all know what we're doing wrong and we all know what we're doing right. Nobody don't have to come to tell you that. Sometimes we pretend to, we pretend to forget. Don't forget. Because in order for us to lie on the bed, we're supposed to clean it, make it up, and set it right because we expect God to come. Let us combine love, happiness, glory, faithfulness, holiness, when you're washed in that blood, all these things is added unto you. And us, I would say, eternal God, God of love and glory, God of peace and understanding, God of unity, I, teacher Martha, invoke your holy presence. Father, Lord, you said what I bound on earth, Lord, you're going to bound in heaven. Dear God, you have never failed me yet. Help me to continue walk in the unity of the spirit of God. Bless our waiting soul and do our body ever good. Remember all those that are listening at this present time and our Lord. I beg you, God, touch their hearts and mind. I beg you, oh, Father, this time, remember the offsprings of our bodies. I beg you, oh, Lord, to sanctify and bless the waiting soul and do their body ever good. Educate the children, oh God, that they will be able to live within this world, Lord, that you have placed us. Help us, oh Lord, to circumcise our heart to meet your calling. Let Satan have no dominion over us. And if he should come, grant us the power to discern the difference between wrong and right and able to make right decisions that we may be able to walk life dangerous journey. Father, some are sick and some are sad. Lord, some lost the love they had and some never learned to love you well. But Lord, I know that Lord, you are a forgiving savior. You said to knock and the door shall be open. You said to seek and we shall find. This morning we seek in your tender mercy and your loving Kindness, treat all God. You create us and fashion us in your own image and your own likeness. And you have breathed breath into us and bring us a, and make us a living soul that we may be able we may able to grow in grace. Dear God, my letter is long. I know, Lord, that your ears are not deaf. I know, Lord, that your eyes are not blind. I know, Lord, that your tongue is not stick to the roof of your mouth. 
And I know, Lord, that your hands are not short. Speak, Lord, let we thy servant hear it. Father, Lord, I bring in my spiritual increase before thee. I bring in Mother Moina most particular manner this morning. Walk and talk with the child if thou be so please. Cover her under your own almighty wings, anoint her from the crown of the head to the sole of the feet. I know, Lord, that I shepherd watch the flock by night. Father, Lord, I'm not asking if you're watching. I know you are. But can a woman tender care this morning? Have your way, blessed Jesus. Because I'm waiting upon you, Lord. Because your promise is my only plea. And this I vent you, Nani. All the other children are glow God at this time and hour. You know the ups and you know the downs. You know they're upsitting and you know they don't rising. Father, Lord, open a way where thou seem to be none. Educate them that they may be able to do your work and do it with filly and fear and loving gratitude. All those are lay my hands upon. What part of the world they be at this time, Lord? Intervene if thou be so pleased. Those that listening that have a need. Those that have a want. Those with the children going down the road, Lord, are not listening. I beg your God, knock Satan to his natural den. And anoint these children with, with, the, with, the, with the oil of gladness and unity. Father, we come in, Lord, without no strength and without no power of our own, but we come in, Lord, depending upon you. Because you are our father and you shape us and you, you shine us and you prepare us for the walk. And you place us on this earth. And you say replenish the earth. Father, I know replenish means a lot of things, Lord. But I plant in our God that one day, Lord, I may be able to reap. I replenish it, Lord. I pray, oh God, Lord, that you put the ingredients that I, teacher Marvel, is unable to put because of the weakness of my frame, but are depending upon you. For where I am weak, Lord, you are strong. And I know, Lord, that you are going to make me stronger. Remember the offspring of my body. Heavenly Father, I promise, Lord, one day that I would give her back to you and I've done that. So I know wherever you lead her is either she follow, but all, Lord, is in your hands and her hands. I, Lord Jesus, I'm looking on. I trust in your name. Remember the Ark of the Covenant. Father, I promise, Lord, to serve you. And I remember one day I said, Lord, let it go from strength to strength, from generation to generation. Father, you tell me if I seek, I would find. No? At this very hour, I remember every church, every ministering staff, every armor bearer, help them to, to serve with their whole heart. To armor bearers out there, remember Satan coming to destroy you because he wants to destroy the man or woman of God. Armor bearers, understand your work, understand the work. Because when they cannot get to the man or the woman of God, it comes through you because destruction from the living God word. And if you're weak, you will fall. And then there is no <laughs> barriers around the woman or man of God. But to their God, I'm a bearer. Seek him while he may be found. Learn your lesson well. Because you never know what is coming. 
all my friends and family, those that love me, those that despise me. Father, I know, Lord, just as they did to Christ, so, so they will do to us. But I'm trusting, Lord. You said to me, I'm a sower. And along the way, Lord, as I sow, you say where there is tear, there is wheat. And where there is wheat, there is tear. You tell me the wheat and the tear to grow until the day of harvest. This morning, have your way, blessed Jesus. Remember Mother Joan and her family. Oh, Lord, give them strength and courage to enjoy. For I know, Lord, you are the shepherd, husband, friend. You are the prophet, you are the priest, and you are the king. Have your way within my life, oh God. Remember those that are sick and bring them before your God, anoint them and grant them a healing, if it's thy will. All things are possible with thee. To those that believe this morning, I thank you, Lord. Pass by the hospitals, pass by the schools, pass by the nursing homes. All those that need you this morning, Lord, touch them, Father. Most of all, this morning, I want to beg your God to remember the <laughs> President Trump. <laughs> Oh, God, Lord, grant him a heart of love. Teach him how to love. Father, I ask you, Lord, because I know, Lord, you love us. You, you say you love the sinner, but you hate the sin. And I know, Lord, that he's one of you and one of us. Fix the heart, oh, God. And to the man that is about to come. I pray, oh God, at this present time and hour that his heart will be indicted in a good matter that he will be able to serve the people with filly and fear and love and gratitude. My peace that I live with you this evening. Heaven bless Bishop Ashby. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In glory and honor to the almighty God for he has been good and his mercy endured forever. He's ever faithful and he's ever sure. Uh, today, uh, I, I want to give some praise to the Almighty God, being, you know, this is the last day of the year. We will meet together until we cross over to the other side. Uh, I want to bless God for each and every one of you um, who has been with us and will be with us um, throughout. Our lesson today shall be taken from Isaiah, the 61st chapter. From the first verse, Isaiah 61, 1. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, this. Isaiah 61, 1. Praise, praise God, praise God. Praise the Lord. Uh, I've all found here beginning the reading of Isaiah, the 61st chapter from the first verse. The spirit of the, uh, of God, of the Lord God is upon me Man. because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings Church. unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the bro brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive and to open the prisons to them which are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint uh, unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, planting of the, the Lord, that he might be glorified. We'll rest in the third verse in other name, but in Jesus' almighty name. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
today we glorify God, you know, um, whew, and I oftentimes say in a particular manner, because every day above ground is a day to glorify God, because I learn where there is liberty, there is life, where there is life, there is, there, there is an opportunity for us to praise God and to, to change the direction in which we are going in, for adventure, we are not on that straight and narrow pathway. Today, we, uh, you know, I glorify God. It, it says in the 61st uh, chapter, the first verse, it says, The Spirit of God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek and has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive and to open the prison to them which are brown. Amen. The scripture is speaking to us here. That which I do now is not of myself. Why the Spirit of God is upon me. And when the Spirit of God is upon us, you know, we have no control of ourselves, of our mortal being, but we have to find ourselves in a, in a state of submission whereby the Spirit will take charge. You see, what I do now is not of myself, but it is of God who has placed uh, a Spirit upon me to carry out his mission and his task. For I speak not of myself, but as God has given me the assurance to do so. The Spirit uh, resting upon the man of God, both blessing and empowering him, uh, so, though, uh, uh, so, so and by the way of the Spirit of God, we must be in submission to God's Holy Spirit that that as sheep, we may be led according to the way in which he desires for us to go. For as the, as the disciples came to Christ and declared unto them, Lord, we know not the way. How can we be led unless there is a leader, there is a shepherd, there is one who to, is able to clear the path with us, lest we go as on thinking horse unto battle, the blind leading the blind. Jesus, in like manner, the Bible tells us, we, we read it many times, went within the synagogue in Nazareth one day and spoke in similar fashion unto they that were therein. And, and he declared, the Spirit of God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Uh, today, those <laughs> those who witnessed this occurrence said to themselves, he blasphemed against the Holy Spirit. Those that heard him made such a declaration, you know, they decided what, they would stone him. They decided, you know, what to, to put him to death. But my Bible tells me that he, he exited without even being touched. Because my Bible has declared, you know, no weapons formed against me shall prosper. You know, today when we are anointed by God, you know, we are well blessed, you know. And if we read it well, you know, the Spirit of God is upon me because what He has anointed me. Unless you have received that anointing, that authority from God, I want to tell you, you're doing whatever you're doing, you're doing of, of self. The Spirit of God be, <laughs> must be in control. The Spirit of God must take possession of our body, soul, and spirit. The Spirit of God uh, uh, do rest upon us what for purpose. Because as it is declared unto us, because he has anointed me, why? To preach the gospel. So don't tell me that you've been anointed just to speak in tongues and there is no interpretation thereof. Don't tell me that you've been anointed, you know, just to, to rattle without any interpretation or someone receiving the message. Because I learned on the day of Pentecost, there, there was an anointing that arrest those who were inside the chamber. And every man spake in a different tongue, but there were those in the... the, the in the atmosphere, who were able to interpret and to take take a, take knowledge or take a, a, a account for that which is being said. John was commissioned, and I want to tell you, John was commissioned what to preach. For he went crying in the wilderness, preparing the way of the Lord and to make his path straight. And what he followed through. John followed through as he was commissioned, even unto the very, even unto death. For I learned for 
one must decrease while the other increase. Amen. Jesus, after reading uh, the scripture, stated, these, <laughs> stated, he said, what? These scriptures is fulfilled in your hearing. You know, there is no more need for you to, 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 to seek out or cry to Messiah, for the, the Messiah is with us. The deliverer is amongst us. There's a song, there's a songwriter that wrote what? God is already here. I'm feeling his presence. Why? Because he's already here. Amen. Let us not come as those where, where Christ said, you know, we're serving a God whom we know not. But we must know the God in which we serve because he resides within us. Because God is a spirit. And if we're about to serve him, we must go or, or get ourselves or sink ourselves within that spiritual realm that we may be able to communicate with him as friend to friend. Because I've learned to be absent from the flesh is to be present with the Lord. Jesus has made a way for us. God has anointed God has anointed, and whom God has blessed, the Bible tells us, let no man curse, for, for he will curse them who curse you, and he's going to bless them who bless you. So careful in the way and manner in which you walk. God will not see the righteous forsaken nor his seeds ever begging bread. We were anointed for purpose. We were called to preach. We were called to bind up. We were called to proclaim. And we were also called what? To open the prison doors that, that they which are bound <laughs> may be set loose, may be set free. For the Lion of Judah has come amongst us to break every chain and set the captive free. We are called to preach the tidings, that good, that good news of the gospel of Christ, and to proclaim uh, and the promises of God, to proclaim, proclaim the God's will. For sin has caused us, or caused our heart to be broken, we are called what to bind up. We were sent to amend, not break down, but to restore and to bring hope as unto uh, the good Samaritan. When all others passed by, the good Samaritan found compassion and he, and he, and he went. He, he diverted from his journey to help, to bind up, to proclaim liberty. For the battle is already won. The victory is ours. For those who have liberty, the Bible tells us we have life. Amen. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. We were not given liberty to, you know, for our own benefit. I remember that Hezekiah asked for extension of years. Amen. But but how are you going to spend those ex extensions when we are sick, when we are near to death? We call it for God to save our life. We don't want to die. But what kind of life are we living for him? Opening a way made possible when all else failed. For he makes a way for us when there seems to be no way. He has declared, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Follow me, and I will make these pictures of men. Go into all the world and preach. This is our proclamation when he was about to leave. Baptizing them in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The second verse, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be exceedingly glad therein. Because if you, we read the lesson well, it states that the year of the Lord. But now has come before us the day of vengeance. God is going to, 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 to cause vengeance to fall upon us. In other words, it is time for a reckoning. It is time for us to pay back. It is time for us to be, to, to be, to be judged. How stand your case with God? It is time for retribution and it is time for revenge. When I say revenge, I'm not talking.
broken. The Bible tells us, he that is not sick has no need of a physician, but he that is not well seeks out a physician to be healed, to be restored. But many of us, we are comfortable in our state of condition, Amen. accepting it as what I can do no better. Amen. But I want to tell you, God has not created us for destruction, but God has created us unto righteousness. The third verse says, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them liberty Man. for ashes, to give unto them, them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for, for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that what he might be glorified. When you are lifted up, God is glorified. The Bible tells us we can bless God. Many of us, we really, we, we really don't understand the concept of that. How can I bless God? We can bless God by being obedient to his will. Amen. Behold, this is my beloved son in whom I will please. Yes, sir. This is a blessing to God. We come now as a light unto the world. Fit for the master's use. Hallelujah. A vessel of honor. And not a vessel of, of, of dishonor. As I said, to a point to be selected for a specific purpose. Christ was selected and chosen among many that he should come and die for Adam's fallen race. Have you been appointed? Have you? Have, have the oil of gladness or the ashes been sprinkled upon you? Have you received that oil of joy, the garment of praise, called trees of righteousness? Have you been given the opportunity to be glorified? Christ has come to do just that, to make a way for us where there seems to be no way. For many have thrown their arms in the air. And has given up. But God has not. And will never give up on you and I. For we are the sheep of his pasture. And gladly. Willingly. He gives. Of himself. As the sheep. As the shepherd. Would give his life for the sheep. Understand this. Your life is valuable. Your life is precious in the sight of God. For the Bible declared, I will not see the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging bread. Jesus said this, these words. He said, While I was with them in the world, I kept them in my name. Those that thou hast given me, I have kept. And none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. What is he saying? He said, all that you've given unto me, Lord, I have kept, I have binded them, I have secured them. They are, <laughs> they are found now as vessels of honor, but those who are the children of, of tradition, will falter by the way. Remember when Cain and Abel came and they offering? The Bible tells us, he who was rejected is countenance full. Jesus came to him, or the God came to him and he said unto him, if you do good, do you not expect to receive good? But how can you be rewarded for not doing good, not doing the will of God? And many of us, we want to do as we want, do as we like, but still receive the blessing from God. The Bible says away with that. According to your work, you're going to be rewarded. Mm. No work, no crown, no cross, no crown. The Bible tells us by his stripes, we were made healed. Mm. Jesus said, such as they've done unto the scribes and the prophets before you, they will do unto you. Understand this. We will be rejected. The word of God will not be received with open arms. But those who God has prepared will receive. 
Remember the show and the seed? Is that all the seeds fell on good ground? <laughs> Remember a fall that was sown? Some fell between thorns, some fell on stony ground. But the Bible tells us it is only one situation that was perfect, good ground. Count how many other obstacles stood in the way. But the Bible tells us straight in the way that leads on the Christ and narrow. And it says what? Even the very elect of God will be misled. Because what? We're seeking our own lustful desires. But the Bible tells us what? Seeking for us the kingdom of God. And all righteousness shall be added unto us. Remember the first verse and to keep it and, and secure it. The Spirit of God is upon me. The more we, re we, we repeat that, the more we re accept it, it will become a part of us. Because I learned that faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. We need to write this verse down and stick it on our refrigerator or, or, or our mirror. Every morning when we wake up, we need to be reminded that the Spirit of God is upon me because He has anointed me to preach good tidings. Spiritual family, my prayer for you is that you go in grace. My prayer for you is that you realize who you are in the kingdom of God. You are not ordinary, but you are extraordinary. The Bible tells us that we were chosen, as I said, I, I believe on Monday, what is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man that thou visited him? Made him a little lower than the angel, and crowned him with honor and glory. So how can you say you have no value? Let us go to God. Let us go down in prayer and ask God what he desires of us, that we may be able to stand predominantly, knowing that we have run the race, knowing that we have fought the fight, and being well reassured that there is a crown laid up in heaven for you and I. This is a prayer of my heart, and Lord, and amen in Jesus, almighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Brethren in Christ, hallelujah this morning. I am in good health and strength and happy. So this morning, the lesson will be taken, the lesson that is taken from Isaiah, the 61st from 1 to 3. This is the reference come from Isaiah, the 11th chapter, the second verse. So we're dealing with number one, Isaiah, the first chapter, 1 to 3. So the first verse, the reference is Isaiah, the 11th chapter, the second verse. The second, Leviticus, the 25th chapter, the ninth verse. The third verse, Psalm 30, the 11th verse. Glory to God and peace to all men. This morning, family, again, what a mighty God. And, you know, God really does move in a mysterious way. You know, I does not, does not really know the lesson that Bishop is going to bring, but sometimes I want, you know, I'm giving God glory for the accepted year of the Lord. You know, this lesson introduced the king who will rule in grace the kingdom that is set before us. So we all have choices. Where do we go from here? We all have choices. Make your choice. And let your choice be your choice, but nobody else's choice. Because there comes a time when we have to answer to God about the choices that we make. So my words to you, my brethren, with love and kindness, be still and know that thou art God. This morning I have not seen Bishop John I, I don't know if he's there. Bishop John, if you're there, advance to be recognized. 
But I trust in this morning that we are all in one piece. <laughs> one, mm -mm, I hear him. Bishop. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love it. Hallelujah. 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 We praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. Giving God the honor and giving him the glory for the good things he has done. Hold on one minute. Let me adjust the phone. Um, uh, uh, it doesn't want to go there. But God be the glory. Amen. Him because you see where I am today. Amen. In the I'm house in the of God. Doing his work. Yes. Amen. I'm in spirit and in truth. But even right I'm here, you know, I can still glorify God. And I thank you for giving me the opportunity where I can say to my brethren, I wish you a Merry Christmas for those who have uh, and had an enjoyable day, I should say. And I'm looking forward to the coming year, 2021. May it be a joyous time in the Lord. As I has reminded my shepherd brother, the young shepherd that is coming up. But we don't want to count things before it happened. But God knows best. But I can see the fire that is within him. And I want him to keep going on, brother Kevin. <laughs> giving God the glory and the thanks for you. you. See, today I'm busy inside the church here doing a little work, but uh, God's name is still worthy to be glorified. So mm -hmm. I thank God for each and every one in another name, but in Jesus' almighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Mm -hmm. Amen, Brother Kevin. Uh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me get my seatbelt on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon to each and every individual on the line. As you know me, always driving what to God be the glory. Great things he has done. Bishop John, I salute you, sir. Bishop Ashby, I salute you. I, I, I realize, Bishop John, we have big plans, you know. Yeah, it's gonna be, yeah. It's, yeah it's, we, ha we have big plans. It's going to be a hallelujah time, eh? Amen. It's going to be a hallelujah time. It's going to That's be a hallelujah time. No? Amen. Amen. I, oh, I, yes. I'm looking forward, but I'm anticipating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm anticipating, you know what I mean? And God's, God's, God's doing a mighty thing, you know what I mean? And I bless yeah. God for uh, the encouragement that you guys right. give me, you know what I mean? Right. To keep yeah. fight on, keep pressing. Right. You know once, I mean? it, once it comes with faith believing... Definitely. All things will be well. Praise Amen. God. Bless God. And, I, and I, thank, I bless God for that. You know, I mean, for my church family and you know, all those who encourage me to keep the faith and keep pressing, keep fighting, because there's a crown to be wear now. Amen. Amen. And I got Amen. to glorify. So I give God thanks. You know, I mean, teacher Marva, you know the thing, go. If you understand the pathway, you know the thing, go. God I bless know the you. Thing. You know? I know the thing. Love God you, bless son. You. Love God you. Bless Love God you. bless you. God bless you. You know. And good afternoon to every body online this evening or this afternoon god bless Praise god. amen son amen have a blessed I one am, i am under the rock and the rock is rock. higher than i higher than i they hope you hide me i am under the rock go to my enemies i am under the rock they hope you hide me I am, I am under the rock, the rock. believers. I am under the rock. The rock is higher than I, higher than I do. Oh, hide me. I am under the rock. Go to my enemies. I am under the rock. Go to my enemies. I am under the rock. Praise yeah, the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Let my Jesus. brethren in Christ. Love you all.
God bless. Mm, yes, and there. keep the faith. Amen. 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 Keep it. Keep mm. the faith, brethren. No matter keep what, go on, keep your faith. Keep the Amen. faith. Amen. 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 Bishop John, you're looking beautiful there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah, you to the work that I'm doing. <laughs> yes, my brother, you're doing yeah, a yeah. good work in the house of amen, God. Yeah. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, that, hallelujah, yes, hallelujah. Yes, yes, I know I that my that. daddy is going to be proud of you. I know that he's looking mm -hmm. down. Oh, yes, yes. See, there is a, there's a new opening and it will open with a change, you know. Amen, amen. 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 amen, Hello. Amen, amen. Oh, brethren, before we go, I want to sing happy birthday to Lily. Today's Lily's birthday. Today's Lily's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Lily. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? How old are you now? How old are you now? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Hi, baby. How are you? Good. I'm just eating. You're eating? Mm -hmm. I'm eating macaroni and cheese. Oh, okay, darling. You're having a good day. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> bye. 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 We thank mm -hmm. the Lord for this, our spiritual food, and most because of Jesus' blood, let manna to the soul be given the breath of life sent down from heaven for Christ's sake. Amen. 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 Be blessed, Amen. my family. Be blessed. Be, be blessed, blessed, my brother. You're looking mm -hmm. right. Uh, I am always right. Don't be right, right yeah. Any family behind there? Anybody? Any family hiding nah. in the back? No Every, family there? Everybody today. home is everybody home today. sleeping now, no? <laughs> <laughs> it was an early trip. Amen, oh, brother. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I'm looking yeah, for you yeah. online tomorrow night. Oh, you will definitely. You, you, won't, you, won't say, you, won't, you won't miss me. All I'll right, my there. darling. All right. Have I'll, a blessed one. God bless. God bless. Bless.